You know, I have a hunch that this is not the last time Pixar examines themes about controlling your emotions and passions and keeping them in check and what have you, but I certainly hope that this is the last time a Pixar film is Disney Plus exclusive. I would have loved to have seen this in a theater. <sighs> okay, I gotta calm down. Don't want to turn into a panda for this review. I really don't think anybody watching this wants me to turn into a red panda. Or do you? Turning Red is the latest addition to the storied canon of Pixar Animation Studios. I finally got a chance to check it out this past weekend. And let's just say, going into this film... I really didn't know what to expect. This was directed by the same person who brought you Bao a few years back. That's the little short that aired before Incredibles 2. And Bao is still the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, you can take back your exorcist. You can take back Quint getting devoured alive in Jaws. There is nothing more terrifying than Bao. But I'm actually very glad that this director, Domi Shi, got to lend her talents to the feature length department for Pixar. And we follow 13 year old Mei Mei, who is torn between being her mother's obedient daughter and the chaos of her youth, going to concerts, crushing hard on the boys in her class along with her great friends, as if that were not enough, when she gets too excited, she turns into a humongous red panda. Yeah, this is certainly one of the more unique Pixar films to come out in a while, and let me just say that despite the slow start, admittedly the first act is not Pixar's strongest. I wouldn't even go as far as saying this is one of Pixar's best films in my opinion, but... Towards the end of this film, I was having a great time with it. Right off the bat, aside from the animation, I think it'd be kind of redundant for me to say that the animation is great in a Pixar film. If Pixar's name is on this title, you probably know that this animation is going to be great. But one thing that I would like to add, if there is any positive for Pixar films being exclusive to Disney Plus right now, the past three, Soul, Luca, and Now Turning Red... They've all gotten very experimental with presenting us different types of animation within their beautiful, typical colors. Y'all remember Soul had those 2D admin type characters in there who were really, really fun. Luca got to experiment a lot with like the Studio Ghibli style. Turning Red does get a lot of like anime manga style moments in there. Some of which involve some cute little kitty cats and you can just tell in the eyes right there. The style of the eyes was a dead giveaway for me. It was very, very different, unlike anything I've seen from a Pixar film at that point, and I think it worked. Not to mention, I agree with Mei Mei, I really wanted to cuddle those kitties so bad. And for the most part, the characters in Turning Red are very, very relatable, especially our main character, Mei Mei, who is very, very fun. This is a coming-of-age film first. Mei Mei is in middle school, which was a very trying time for a lot of us, I'm sure. And she's dealing with a lot of changes, not just in regards to this panda, but friendships are altering, her relationship with her mother is deteriorating. Not to get too deep into spoilers, of course, but truth be told, this is a really, really fascinating character arc for a child character. And that brings me to my biggest positive about Turning Red. The messages, the thematic material. This is something that I think a lot of us can relate to. Growing up, there have been phases where some of us have felt like we weren't doing good enough, despite us trying our damnedest. And we've all felt like that our personal problems and our faults were always holding us back, making us feel like we're never good enough. Turning Red really examines that a lot deeper, and... It does so in a very heartwarming way. Wasn't really something I was expecting going into this, for sure, but I gotta give these filmmakers credit where it's due. Turning Red really hit me in the feels, especially towards the end of this film. The mother-daughter relationship in this film, gold. We don't really see the mother-daughter love story done enough in movies like this. Brave is another film that comes to mind, also ironically enough from Pixar, that really examines the mother-daughter love story so, so well. Turning Red amps that up by a million, I think. And I think the way this film wraps up, and how it's all family and friendship oriented, everybody just coming together to achieve one solitary goal, it's really, really awesome to see. You know what else was really awesome to see? This movie hit me so hard in the nostalgic feels, too. I'm sorry if this spoils anything for anybody, but I had to talk about this. Turning Red is set in the year 2002. 20 years ago. 
Shit. Anybody feel old yet? But yeah, just hearing some of the musical score in here and just the vernacular that these kids were using, it really brought me back to the memories of my childhood at least. And this film also takes place in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which is a really unique location for a film like this. The whole climax takes place at the Sky Dome, which is now known as the Rogers Center. The Sky Dome. That's what I remember it as growing up. And the pro wrestling fan in me just got so excited when I saw the Sky Dome. It just brought back memories of Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan and The Rock in that building 12 years after. And if you really think about it, in this timeline, this whole climax takes place two months after after Hulk Hogan and The Rock tore the house off the Sky Dome. That's a lot of repair having to go into that poor building. But like I was saying guys, characters perfect as you would expect from Pixar. The whole mother-daughter dynamic is fantastic. The whole family is just, it's filled with colorful characters. Reminded me a lot of Coco in that regard. They all had very distinct personalities. You remember the objective of every single one of them? You remember their personalities? The father in this film. Really, really, really funny. And honestly, my only issues with this film, the first act I thought was really, really slow until... Until Mei Mei turns into the panda for the first time, you're going to be sitting there thinking like, oh god, what is this movie going to be? This is looking like one of the most annoying films of the year. But no, once the red panda comes out, we're full speed ahead. It is great. But I will say there are some story elements within her friend circle at her school that just felt very repetitive from other Pixar films. Like, the liar reveal cliche is certainly there. Like, they present it in a different way, but... It's peeking through the cracks. It really wants to be full-on liar reveal. And even though there's a couple of friends that I found really funny, Priya especially is like a younger Rosa from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I thought she was hysterical. There were some that just kind of get on your nerves, and yet they just keep popping up and saying things. And I'm like, okay, you're getting dialogue, but... Please shut up now. You're annoying. I'm seeing a lot of mixed reviews for Turning Red, and I honestly, I really, really enjoyed this. I'm going to give Turning Red a B+. Plus. Certainly, it's not going to be in my top 10 Pixar films when all is said and done. Soul is infinitely better than this one. It's probably around the same level as Luca. I think I prefer Turning Red just a smidge over Luca if I were to really think about it right now. But this is honestly one I wouldn't mind watching again. It's honestly one I wouldn't mind showing the younger members of my family. And I think thematically, this is one of Pixar's stronger efforts, especially lately. It's got a fantastic message for young people. And on the other side of the coin, the adult message uh, relating to the main theme of this film it really, really hits you, man. Once you become a parent, it really... Turning red is almost a cautionary tale in a lot of ways. But of course, guys, I'm just starting the discussion. These are all just my opinions. Let me know what you guys thought of Turning Red down in the nifty comment section below. Did this crack your top 10 Pixar films? You guys all know I love discussing all new things, movies and entertainment with you guys, but... Seeing your guys' feedback and getting to talk to you guys more and more, it just makes things all the more fun for me. And if this is your first time visiting the channel today, what the heck are you waiting for? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button as hard as you possibly can with that notification bell right next to it. You know, so that way you can stay in the loop. We're also inching oh so close to 1,000 subscribers. It's a number I'm hoping that we can reach very, very soon. Don't forget, if you guys enjoyed what you saw today, smash that thumbs up button on your way out. That is tremendous, tremendous help in getting this content out there. And of course, stay tuned for more exciting content hitting this channel very, very soon. I realize that my content has become a little bit more sparse lately. I'm going through a huge shift in my life in terms of day jobs. I'm also in a musical right now, which is running, you know, close to where I live, so... Content will be a little bit more sparse for the next couple of weeks, but I'm definitely looking forward to all these new releases. I did watch The Adam Project, so stay tuned for my review on that. It should be up fairly shortly. And I can't wait to check out The Lost City and everything everywhere all at once at the end of the month. And yes, I did not forget, I will be wrapping up my Harry Potter series before Secrets of Dumbledore hits theaters on April 15th. Certainly a lot that you can look forward to, guys, and I cannot wait to discuss all these topics with you and much, much more. Y'all are the best. And again, thank you all so much for your support of the channel through everything. With all that being said, back talk, commence. Yeah.